And we're live. Hi everyone, this is MT Gamer, and I'll be returning to the Five Ox Popular. Continue with the modded playthrough. Yeah, I, f I found some free time. <laughs> <laughs> I actually changed the policies a bit. So. Yeah, no, I need to test this out. The tradition now gets a scalar gets one population. You don't get two population from the opener anymore, and then you'll get plus one science. It was plus two before, so now it's plus three. It was plus three food. Now it's plus four. It was plus two gold. Now it's plus four gold. So slight buff. The extra population would be nice. Uh, progress. <laughs> Just thinking about progress, I'm like. And Venice. So, progress has one of the bigger changes. So, instead of getting science from population in your capital, which is so weird, I never quite understood why it had that. I mean, it's progress. It's not tradition. You're you're not supposed to focus on your capital as much. So, I removed that. Now it's plus one science in every city, which is still pretty strong. Not as broken as what it was before, because you get like. 30 or 40 or oh, actually I don't think you could I don't think you could get to 5 pop before your policy so like 40 science which is a lot so now it's plus 1 science okay for, for a moment I'm like can I adopt it did I forget to remove the bonuses then so yeah, now it's plus 1 science in every city you start with one city. Oh yeah, one big thing is now settlers require, unless I messed it up, settlers requires at least six citizens. So yeah, early game, you want to get settlers. It's probably tradition, but tradition you want the extra pop. Plus you need the population to make units. So it's going to be interesting. Okay, so uh, scalar it goes from five culture to ten culture because it's going to take longer to tech up and then you no longer get production from organization but now you uh progress gets a total of two free uh sellers one from expertise and then one from equality now i feel like the two paths are very interesting on the one hand, you can get a seller. So you could get a second city and you get plus one faith in every city, which is really significant. Or you could go for worker, seller, and then science and food. Of course, this also, yeah, maybe this side is too strong. Well, we'll see. Depending on how things go, I might. I'm. I'm actually now thinking maybe I'll move plus one faith in every city to fraternity and have the plus one faith in every city to expertise. Authority only changes the scalar gets plus one gold to the palace. So authority is the gold and production so they'll be able to build a better military. Progress will Assuming you don't lose your settlers, we'll get three cities in Chinera and be able to build off that. Tradition will just have a very strong capital. Uh, depending on how strong it is, I may have to remove plus one population from Scalar and just like say plus one pop, plus one pop, and plus one pop, something like that. Um, those are probably important changes. At least the one I could think of. All right, let's settle in place. Let's, I'm probably gonna go for tradition. I am debating about one thing. I, I still don't know if I will go ahead with it. And what I'm debating is whether or not I want to keep 
whether or not I want to keep modding. Like later eras, well, existing eras, uh, medieval, medieval, renaissance. Renaissance will take a while because right now I really don't like the spice system. It feels clunky and I don't know, I just don't like it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it. I'm sure there are people who love it. Like, it's definitely... The intention is good. But... I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it. Like... You get all of these free yields. Okay, so there is another sieve. And Babylon, okay. Well, we probably won't f see. There, there are positives to both. If I mod in medieval, if I ever get a really good game and I just want to play it, that'll be the one to go. Right? They'll be like, "Well, let's keep playing until medieval era." But if I ever, because I am working on the early game, that's honestly not a terrible idea. Huh, this map is pretty big. Okay. It's definitely not a terrible idea to focus my energy on getting like the early game. Nailed down as best I, I could. Oh, that is pretty good. Yeah, I need barbarians. And I'm still thinking about how I'm going to change barbarians and such. Oh, of course, you're going to attack me. Cross the river? Hmm. The wheel. I want to remove skirmisher doc doctrine. This feels bad. All right, let's buy one. It will slow down my growth. Let's get animal husbandry since I have this many plains and grassland. It's possible to make it work somehow. Okay, there must be another civilization. At least it seems like there's enough territory for that. Oh, of course. Yeah, you can't heal anyways. I don't think you could catch that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, shoot. Um... Yeah, I need the production. I also need to keep you alive because you did cost one population to build, so it does get expensive. It shouldn't be able well unless there's one that pokes out. 
Thank you for the free production. I mean, it's not that strong. I mean, it's nice to have. Not gonna lie. And yeah, there must be another sieve somewhere up there. Of stable. Yeah, I'd be... Inca with mountains? Yeah. Pfft. Oh yeah, that's the thing. It's like... I know Inca deserves a buff. But man, they are a nightmare to deal with. They have just the right mountain placement. Though so last game we did see uh last game we did see uh Portugal's capital in like the perfect spot. Can't complain about that. It was like, damn. Yeah, the, the thing I was talking about <laughs> was adding a Bronze Age. Adding a Bronze Age to, uh, before ancient era. Which would actually make things quite interesting. Okay, what do you go for? You went tradition. I mean, progress. I have to try all of them out. It'd be fun. Yep. Have you been able to out ignore zone of control is pretty key. Yeah, well, war cheerers are gonna suck in this terrain. Oh, hello. Hello there. Fine day we're having, huh? There's Babylon, they have archers. I'm hesitant to add, uh, oh, come on, really? I'm really hesitant to add, uh, did I get anything? Nothing? Wow. Location sucks. I'm hesitant to add because I feel like if I don't have good concepts, it will get very dull. It's, that's what it will feel for me. Um, what can we do with you? I don't even have granaries. That's one faith in capital city. New. Did I go Goddess of Beauty last time? Maybe. Um, camps are not very useful. Goddess of Wisdom. Hmm. The mountains are too far away. Toes, fishing boats, pastures. I don't even have anything I can improve pastures with. <laughs> that is a little sad. Um, plus one faith and with city connections.
That's one culture from Palace. Man, if only if I have stone. I think nothing is great. Actually, let's try. I don't think I've tried Goddess of Beauty yet. Oh, you will not survive that. I mean, the AI is building a military, so there is that. Oh, are you just lining up to give me free stuff? You're too kind. <sighs> it's times like these that warms my heart. <laughs> Not. Um... Again, another war cheer is probably not a bad idea. Unless I can't get the kill. Good. Uh, let's get the shrine. Good live, maybe? One could dream, okay. Yeah, mostly I'm testing out how the policies feel. Over traditions, I mean, it's okay. Did you go for anything else? Do you want progress? I don't think a Pathfinder take it out. I could be proven wrong. You will not survive. Okay, let's get farming. We pop. Go up. You <sighs> and they didn't attack. Wait, did you go authority? How dare you steal my kills? Yeah, I don't even know if I want. So want to kill that Pathfinder. Peaks, Reese. Okay, that can be arranged. I just don't know where they're at. <laughs> that warrior might not survive. Oh, what? Uh, I'll take that because Greece stole my other one. Those damn thieves. Thieves, I tell ya. Thieves! Oh, there's a. Uh, Celts. Yeah, we can't even catch it. And then pretty good. Well, you get to the safety. It's great artists. Yeah, isn't it sad where you came and catch a brute? Like, what the heck is this? 
Oh, we have bison. Finally, we caught up. You're my kill. I don't know what you think you're doing, but stop running away. Okay, let's heal for a turn and then get sniped. <laughs> Pyramids. Yeah, I think I'm gonna remove the free settler from Pyramids. Just too damn strong, in my opinion. Too damn strong. Got a nerf. So far, it looks pretty good. In terms of policies. Yeah, the race must be up north as well. Somewhere. I don't know where exactly. We have bananas? Bananas are actually now a good tile. Before they... They didn't even like give you extra yields, so they're like pretty bad. Oh, I can't... Get to that... Uh, that... Okay, Grace must be somewhere there. Probably. Yeah, this looks like... Really? Huh. Interesting. The barrage. Oh, come on, of course. I keep losing out on these kills. Okay, I found. Oh. Gave me. Got some good science. Hmm. See, I I want to remove settlers from pyramids because I'm like, oh, about that. Really? You know how far that is, right? Madness. Temple of Artemis is actually not a bad idea. Uh, let's get Herbalist. Get Waka. Waka. Yeah, Tradition won't be able to expand. I mean, yes, they get extra units, but with all the barbarians and things, you're gonna need the extra bit of help. I mean, I could try to go after that one. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> okay, go... Oh, more food. I guess I gave them food. Hmm. Athens.
I mean, that looks... I guess depending on what they used. Oh, they haven't even got their Pantheon yet. Wait. No, they haven't. They only have one city. It's not possible for them to... I was like, it's not possible. But the capital should get the Pantheon. Good. Oh, thanks for being a pain. Oh, is there a river? Rip. Yeah, when improved, those tiles are pretty darn nice. I've only met two city states so far. That's hilarious. Russell, really? I don't think you can steal it. I don't think. <laughs> Watch me get proven wrong is like, oh, you can. Unless they literally have some unit that's embarked. Thank you very much for gold. Another city state down there. Uh, I want to grow first. Why? Buy an archer. Okay, that's. Really good. All right, I need mine. <sighs> God damn it. Why? <laughs> I'm asking that right now. I'm like, why? Yeah, archers are actually kind of useful, so. Not a bad thing. Yeah, archers were terrible in the past. It's like, what the heck do you use them for? How are you supporting? Oh, you, you're not. That's a pretty massive military, honestly. Now I need to get to 6 pop. Yeah, Greece is gonna have... Uh, actually, in terms of food, they're not that bad. The same. A sketchy experience. I forgot what does improved. Don't worry, you're not the only one who wants horses. I'm still questioning why the game is like. Wait, I met your friends. I drastically lowered the influence you get, but I guess you could still be friends. All right, I need to save up for a settler. Do you have another policy coming up? I like having grids. You're free to your opinion. <laughs> you can judge me. Oh, crap. That's a very late. Five turns. 
we could go for granary okay babylon can actually start building ah yes okay so progress does get the advantage okay so that is actually a good thing to look for i'm glad i'm glad there is a sieve that went progress oh you're too kind i don't even have any luxuries you can't even beg me to help because I'm so broke. <laughs> oh, that's too kind of them. <laughs> Why, thank you for the gold. Tradition will suffer. they're starred for gold oh did babylon also get yeah but there must be another barbarian camp somewhere here using grabs i mean the fact that i could befriend summer can was already a miracle okay that was not where i expected it I'm getting shot at by the hand axis not Thieves have grown, so gonna go for a settler. Yeah, glad to see the free settler being utilized. So progress will have an easier time. Tradition will have to work at it. And I'm not gonna, oh, I should have attacked with you. Because you can actually still get experience. Beautiful. More production. Yet you need to heal. Um. Yep. Ooh, plus one production. Hey, I don't remember every change I made. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, that is. Ooh. That looks pretty darn good location. Well, wow. it depends if I could. Yes, four, four cinnamon. Can I make a coastal? Um. I could settle on that. Yeah, I don't know if Babylon actually got... I mean, the position of those is really nice. I might have to lose a banana. Which really sucks. I could settle right here. So it won't be coastal. But it will have four cinnamon in its range. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, so so Greece stole one of my encampments and now um now I stole one of his. Only fair. Um, I mean, in terms of defense, that is still in a pretty good spot. I forgot to... Oh, I will lose out on...
production. I, I sometimes wonder if improving those is even a good thing. But getting the plus one culture from the Monopoly is like massive. So there is incentive for that at, at the very least. Wait, is there another Barbarian camp or are they attacking Inca? I don't see them succeeding in taking out Inca, but I can definitely see them going after Barbarian campments. Yep, okay, so they did get another... Did I make it still too easy? Maybe I need 8 pop. Because that's the thing, right? Like, if Babylon isn't building more units... Once they hit 6 pop, they get a settler... I mean, unless I can... I don't think I... With my current coding skills, I don't think I can make settlers use up 2 population. Maybe they can. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> but but that would slow them down. I mean, they would still expand like crazy. Or I can make settlers. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, no. Okay, not that one. I thought there was seller can cost two. Well, if I have seller stagnation, okay. Now I'm much curious. Um, the five. Uh. Settlers cost to population. I could make them more expensive. Hmm. And Density, start costs. Hmm. Huh. I could make them more expensive. But then the AI doesn't learn, right? The, the AI is like, oh, I need to build a settler. So how do I do this? I, I remember. Didn't seller. Okay. What was the default? Uh, Seller. Population growth is pause. I vaguely remember sellers. Is this Sith Fourth thing? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I don't want there to be spamming of settlers. I mean, I could always increase the cost to like 10. So it will be much later. The authority will have 
Authority will be gifted a settler from Imperium. Used to. Uh, progress will be gifted two settlers. And then Tradition will just have this. I mean, the issue with Tradition is... The Scaler would give them five extra population, which is a lot. But growing to 10 population is also tougher. I don't think I want to slow it down that much, right? Right? Yes? No? Or should I remove the food? The plus 3% growth in all cities, and plus 1 population in your capital. That would mean. They can't sustain the new population very well. Huh. Yeah, maybe gifting them population isn't great. I should let them grow. Plus one food. Plus plus. What if it's plus two food? Plus two food, that'd be plus ten food. And ten is like free hang gardens. So get plus ten. Hmm. Wait, no, no, they, they have plus two from here. Plus five from scalar, so that's seven. And then I can give plus one pop pop for these two and then that's it. Like you get you get two free pop. I don't want to put it in the opener because then someone playing progress could probably abuse it. Take the opener. Are they still losing so much gold? <laughs> and that's like after they get after they get their second city. Oh wow. What is this map formation? Oh my god, Athens. <laughs> Greece is like spending so much on units. Yeah, 10 might be much. 8? Eight. 8 will mean... Hmm. Yeah, now I'm trying to think. If I increase the the cost it takes to grow cities, because you could build units even if you have one pop. There's no limit to that. The limit is for settlers. And then I could have like plus one pop in all cities for certain policies. I think I would do a, a more minor change. There's like, um, Settlers require eight population and tradition only gets let's give them three. Three for free population. So now it's harder. Now if I can make barbarians a bit more dangerous. 
It might work. I mean, if I can make settlers cost two population, that would also help. Oh, I could have moved you to cover. I still need you to cover that. Oh my god, <laughs> this Pathfinder. This is the way you get Greece for stealing my barbarian encampment. Make you pay dearly. So, chances are Babylon is going for another. I mean, if I actually make barbarians much scarier, the AI might be forced to produce a lot more other u military units, maybe. Oh, there's two of them up there. Interesting. Oh, look. Oh, they surround this brute. And they don't do anything. Why am I not surprised? Who the pets want summer? Yeah, this will be landlocked. Artemis. So it is possible to get to six pop as progress fairly easily. You will go for a shrine. Yeah, six pop might still be kind of on the low side. Eight pop. I mean, I guess I could make it grow more exponential. So it's like the next. So it's like for each new pop, it would more expensive well will it hurt tradition yeah that's something I need to test because I actually don't know for food huh That is actually, actually the funny thing is the market actually makes it so that the market will actually make it so that the sentiment will be a net positive. There's Petra. How do you expect me to build Petra? <laughs> More city states. I don't know why you're smoking, but it doesn't make sense. Oh look, another barbarian encampment.
guess I won't be able to test. Oh yeah, city. You have walls? Probably walls of Babylon. Of course, I didn't finish it off. Because why would it? Yeah, that's the main thing. Like, once you. So, A pop. I don't think I could chase it down. At least not with the unit I want to chase it down. My goodness. How far are we gonna go? Are you gonna snipe that? Damn you. Damn you, Greece. Oh, is that where I have to go? Oh, the city stays stolen. Oh. Yeah, this turn is awful. Okay, we need to clear out that archer. Um, how? Wow. <laughs> Turn 107. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm an idiot. It does change the timing of... I mean, I could always increase this if I feel this is too soon. Um... Is it too soon? Oh man, there are some spaces I need to fix. It's like, oh, that looks bad. All our belief. What's from production? That's actually pretty good. Plus two. All right, I'm like, wait, I have some pop. Yeah. No. Okay, market's almost done. Yeah, these are not progress workers. Should be able to take it out. Oh, did I not switch? Oh, I don't have any. Um, yes, seller. I would have been better. <laughs> Given the production too. Make sure they don't get sniped. Yeah, going for eight pop. 
and make barbarians more dangerous probably will achieve what I hope to achieve. Over the great engineer. Um Yeah. I mean honestly just putting you somewhere there. It's only plus two there. Why that you need it. I'm just curious how strong the flow monopoly will be. But the AI could just go broke. I mean, I guess I could have gotten a wonder. I need five, right? Yes, I need five. That's nine texts, and he has gotten. Yeah. The AI does have weird priority at times. Oh, there is that. Um. Yeah, market. No, come on, more of those down. Oh, come on, there's iron there. The policy. Yeah, plus one population for. Five free pop is too much. Three is probably reasonable. How much are you? How much production are you producing? Like that's expensive. Very expensive. The second wonder, yeah. At least the, the way I modded it, it's actually damn expensive. Here, man. Settle. Um. Well, it's not bad. Pretty even right now. This is a hundred ten production. Chopping those will give forty. Avalon? No. I, I was like, what can you not do? Do I want to change it? I still think it's too many free population. And it's just getting to the level of this is absurd. I actually learned recently 
that if if you pledge allegiance, yet you get more influence with the city state. Definitely something to take note of. Yeah, once that finishes... Fifteen turns for a great library? Yeah, that's actually pretty damn good. Yep. He did start earlier, but his should also be more expensive. <laughs> Eleven turns. Yeah, I actually don't know what the priority for buildings are. Like, things have changed enough that I'm like, I'm not quite sure. Thieves have... Uh... Really? He has less soldiers than... That's interesting. How is he exploding? Head. I'm so confused. I guess getting things like councils help tremendously. Man, silver. I'm getting plus. I feel like the followers that give you yields dealing with population is pretty damn strong. I did nerf them a bit. I don't even have enough gold. I mean, it's too expensive anyways. Are you all right? Fine. Why aren't you asking like Babylon? They're actually ahead. Oh, right. I'm like, why are they ahead? Right. Walls of Babylon, right? At least I think they built it. I'm surprised that they haven't. Like, that's pretty damn good. Plus one science, it adds up. If you're also working this, I mean it's only plus one, so it's not as worth it. Watch them steal it. Mahaha. So overall, only fourteen text, twelve. I mean, I don't have, like, once I get that, it'd be pretty damn nice. Uh, it's funny how in the past, I'm like, wonder yields aren't that great. But since removing it, since reducing everything, these yields are like very nice. Yeah, maybe I'll just increase the popular. See, 
This is how quickly you could suddenly expand. So maybe I will. Uh, traditionally gets three pop. Uh, slight increase to growth exponential. Actually, if that's the case, I might keep. Are you actually working on those? Wait, what? Like, that's literally really good. <laughs> Yeah, the extra bit of, uh, it is significant. Hmm. Yeah, no, a lot to think about. Like, what am I going to do? Increase to eight population. See, this is what I'm worried about. Like, all the extra, all the extra population allow tradition to just expand faster than progress. Not what I want. Maybe I will have like 10 population before you can. Okay, eight. I mean, if I'm adding the exponential. Yeah, think about it. So yeah, I'm going to end the stream here. Who knows what surprises will await us <laughs> the next time I stream this. Because since I could mod and change things. I mean, after this, I'm going to do some modding. So things will already be different. Anyways, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a good one.